My name is Kirsten and I'm a Teen Services Librarian from the Naperville Public Library. Today I am going to demonstrate how to create marbleized paper using a simple technique. You will need a piece of heavier paper like cardstock or watercolor paper, some cooking oil like vegetable oil, water, a plastic spoon, a small dish to mix things, some food coloring, a larger pan or bowl, and a place to set aside your work to dry. You will also need clothes you don't mind getting dirty and a workspace that can get messy, especially using food coloring, which can stain and get all over your hands. I am using a plastic spoon today because I found that the food coloring can stain my measuring spoons. So I wanted to be careful by using a disposable spoon and I've also found that glass dishes are easier to clean off. To get started, you are going to take your water and pour it into your dish. You want to make sure that the water covers the entire dish. Then you are going to take your vegetable oil or other cooking oil and your spoon. And I am going to put two spoonfuls of vegetable oil into my small dish. And then I am going to take some food coloring and I am going to put in one spoonful. You could also just eyeball it and just put the drops in there that way. I'm going to dump that in there and then I am going to use my spoon to mix it together really, really thoroughly. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how to use one color, but you can use as many colors of food coloring as you would like for your creation. Once it is mixed together really thoroughly, you're going to take your spoon and you are going to put drops of your mixture into your water. And you're gonna create the pattern however you would like it to be. Optionally, you can also take a toothpick and run it through the water to create the pattern that you would like. Once it looks the way that you would like it to, you're going to take your piece of paper and you are going to gently set it in the water. And you are going to leave it in your water for about 30 to 40 seconds. Once it has been in there for 30 to 40 seconds, you can take it out and set it aside to dry. At this point, you can also take a second piece of paper and put it in your water. Um, you will see that it will create a piece of paper that's not quite as vibrant with colors, but still looks really neat. Once it's been in there long enough, you can go ahead and gently take it out. You'll see that it is creating this really cool effect. And I'm going to set it aside to dry. I would leave it to dry overnight, especially if there is a lot of food coloring on it, which you can see there is on this one. Once it is dry, you may need to take a paper towel and blot off any excess food coloring. Then you can take your paper and make a birthday card, greeting card, note card, or even a bookmark out of it. I found that this is really neat to do right now when I'm not able to go to the store to get a card for someone. And that's it. You have marbleized paper. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I'll see you next time.